Okay, folks, we're back. I'm Sam Houston, and I'm the reporter for the Sonoma County Gazette, uh, the Bodega Blog app. And we're going to go on to part two of our of our July edition, and we're going to talk about the Bodega <laughs> Land Trust. Um, I didn't know a whole lot about the Bodega Land Trust, and uh, and when I was talking to uh, Dan uh, Arendt, who is the uh, produce or he's the event manager for the the B50 event he was telling me that um, the proceeds from the B50 anniversary um, are going to be going or part of them are going to be going to the Bodega Land Trust which then got me inspired to learn more about it and so what we did is we found Mary Biggs and Linda Sauter um, who are going to tell us a little bit about the what is the Bodega Land Trust what's the purpose of it um, what they're doing currently, uh, and other things that they that they're looking forward to doing, and so without that, with any more discussion here, <laughs> let me hand it over to Mary, and let's find out what is the Bodega Land Trust. Well, the Bodega Land Trust is a um, nonprofit organization, and our purpose and mission is to um, help landowners and the community preserve the beauty that we have basically in western Sonoma County is our um, is our area from maybe Russian River down to below Bodega um, inland um, but in the western coastal hills so our our mission includes community education and the way we uh, implement our mission is by providing landowners the opportunity to put an easement, a conservation easement, on their property. Um, this is a very important um, piece of work that's done between the landowner and the land trust. And what we do is identify conservation values that are important to the landowner to preserve. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, so we come to a contract, really an agreement, in terms of what the Bodega Land Trust will be watching in perpetuity, okay. <laughs> forever, um, those values that they are not, um, that they're upheld. So, if it's preserving redwoods in a forest, okay, good. Um, it could be preservation of coastal prairie, okay. um, riparian corridors okay. around a creek, um, agriculture. Um, a farmer, a, a farming family, um, might want to keep the land, have a mechanism to keep the land in agriculture. Okay. and be able to pass it on to their family. So once you come to this agreement about um, the conservation or agricultural um, or natural or scenic values, there's, there's a number of them, uh, with the land trust, then it's the land trust's responsibility to monitor that land. Um, and what the landowner gets is some um, tax advantages. The landowner would be working with their lawyer, their accountant, right. um, and it's it's individualized uh -huh, to their okay. property. So we have information, um, more specifics on that. So okay. you'd be looking at um, going to the website. Well, our yes, going to the website, which is under construction right at the moment. Okay. Um, <laughs> but going to the website um, or getting in touch with. Um, Myself, Don Shearer, um, Deborah Walton, who's our development director, um, and and all that information will be on the website. So, um, and what projects are you currently working on? Well, we have, like I said, we do community education. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. recently, we have sponsored a community dialogue for the Gateway Project, which is quite a controversial um, issue in the West County. Uh huh. Um, but. That's, that's a little bit separate. We have what we call a walks and talks series. So okay. we have um, maybe six times a year either a um, walk to highlight a, a 
um, a beautiful place mm -hmm. and allow people to to go onto private property and and hear information. It's it's docent led, so we always have somebody who's an expert okay. uh, leading the walk. Um, and today, as a matter of fact, we're having a talk and a walk on. Um, railroad history in western Sonoma County oh, so nice. kind of local history and um, where is that that's going to be at Salmon Creek School in oh. the auditorium there uh, very and, cool um, yeah. led by or this the talk is led by Rick Coates okay. who is um, has done his own private research because of his interest mm -hmm. um, so what is that's coming up in be, July is there anything in July, walk? we're planning a um, rain garden walk. So we will be visiting and talking about the potential in the winter for uh, conserving water and um, and and how to garden. So how <laughs> now? Um, how do how do you get your funding, or where does your funding come from? And what about your volunteer base? How do you how do you get volunteers and uh, so yeah, tell me a little bit about that. Okay, well we're um, we're community based for in, in regards to funding. We have a newsletter that we've been doing for a long time, um, and often good there's newsletter. there's yeah, it's really good. Yeah. We're beginning to call it a journal. Um, it doesn't come out on a regular basis because it. Um, often is a write-up from the, the experts who've led our walks on what they uh, were talking about. So we had, uh, recently we had walks on um, badgers, <laughs> uh, beavers, um, coastal prairie, um, some experimentation or research that's been going on into how to preserve coastal prairie okay. because it's it's threatened so the articles in the journal um, come from the peep the experts who have um, talked about those who have presented that information uh, so the journal is very um, very interesting and I know a lot of people read it cover to cover and I, and I usually do. Mm -hmm. Was there um, something that stood out to you about one you of know, those? I'm really interested <laughs> in the, um, the repairing of Salmon Creek and the encouraging of the, the salmon runs and and um, repairing the creek so that they can spawn right. and grow and go back to the ocean. I'm, so I'm really interested in those. Right, so we have done work on the the on Salmon Creek, and uh, we have some parts of the creek. Uh, we have conservation easements on some parts of the creek, uh -huh. um, and then the 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 journal and the walks and talks um, support our effort to actually protect that land um, and help provide education. Um, to ourselves and to right. landowners and the community at large. Wow, um, wow this is great. So yeah, this is great. So, and so, so, do you recruit people? How do you get people involved? Well, we love volunteers. Okay. Um, so, this is a call to volunteers. This is a data. big call to volunteers. So, when I mentioned the conservation easement and our responsibility to monitor that land in perpetuity, the way we do that is we do a ba what's called a baseline study. Okay. And in the baseline study, we take, we walk the land and we decide photo points where we will take photographs of uh, certain features. And then every year we go back, it's like a treasure hunt, to find those spots mm -hmm. um, and take a photograph in that spot again and note if there are any changes. Um, so we uh, have a monitoring program that is run largely by volunteers, and it's really a fun um, opportunity. I don't know if you've done any monitoring, but you get to uh, go out and walk on the land and take the photographs and do documentation. Um, there's certain things that we're responsible to do properly, so you, everyone is trained, the volunteers are trained. We do a training once a year. 
Um, and we welcome volunteers. Um, some of the walks are very easy, mild and benign, and some of them are, um, require, well, they're uh, going deep into a canyon, for instance, and uh, walking along a creek um, at, with no trail. Uh -huh. So it's uh, like going in the wilderness. Which we still have a lot of wilderness mm -hmm. in our in our area, uh, so it's a wide variety, and we we want and need and appreciate volunteers of all skill levels and interest levels. So what we'll do is we'll provide the link to the website, and uh, eventually it'll be up. We're hoping that by in July, when you when you uh, see this article, that uh, it will be up by then. And, um, and we encourage your participation. Um, it sounds like there's many levels that people can, can participate in uh, with the Land Trust. And uh, with, the, uh, with the event coming up, the B, uh, B50 anniversary event, um, proceeds, uh, some of the proceeds from that event are actually going to be going to the Bodega Land Trust. So um, we'll be trying to feature this more and more so that we bring this into the community so that you know what's going on with the, with the Land Trust as well as you know what's going on more and more with our community, our Bodega Blagat community. Okay, thanks so much for watching.